Hi, so sometimes I just want to have a little chat and give you guys some tips about um, things that I find when I'm um, online looking for things to put in my junk journals or in my paper crafting. And we like to use a lot of vintage items and things like that. So I thought I would show you something that I found on the Cornell University Library online. Um, they have a section called Making of America. And they have the Harper's New Monthly Magazine. Um, they have all of the issues from the first issue in 1850 to um, 1899. This is America's second oldest running magazine. It actually still has a current editor. And I think it's called Harper's Monthly now. Um, but way back in 1850 when it started, um, I was extremely impressed looking through all of the articles and the illustrations. And um, so I printed this to show you. This is from the very first issue. And it says, um, this is like, Broad brimmed straw hats are used for the promenade. Open work straw bonnets of different colors are adopted for the early summer wear, trimmed with branches of lilac or something as appropriate. And it goes on. And it's just talking about the fashion of the time and what bonnets should be worn for what occasions. So I printed this page out to show you, you know, you can use this as a whole page in your journal, you know, fold it in half as a page or you can um, cut out the beautiful ladies, the illustrations, and even use the text with it. And um, not all of the pages obviously have pictures. You kind of have to look through. Um, but what I also did is I printed this on um, patterned scrapbook paper. And I really just like the effect and the look that it gave. Um, it kind of gives a really cool backing. And um, I'll show you, you can use, of course, whatever paper you want. But this is the one that I use. This is the Mint Julep Color Box. And um, the pages are really thin. They're not as thin as copy paper, but um, they're still really thin. And they're white on one side. So I just chose this one with the orange roses and just printed it on there. So I thought that that would be a really good resource for all of you to look into. Um, I just thought it was really neat and I'm planning on using these in some of my journals and um, you know sometimes it's great to just have a tip. I really appreciate it when I'm watching YouTube videos and some of the people that I admire like Nick the Booksmith, um, she was mentioning in one of her videos, um, Pixabay and being able to go onto that website and use any of the images they are commercial use and especially if you're trying to sell a journal to someone you have to be very careful about the copyright with things um, so that you don't get into trouble and the copyright law is really not that complicated um, it gets more complicated after 1922 but if you want to know 100% sure that you're safe just stick with pre-1922 because anything pre-1922 is public domain you can use it any way you want with no um, attribution attribution attribute you don't have to attribute it to anybody and um, so this is 1850 and all of the ones on here are to 1899 so I wrote this um, down here you can see that Cornell University Library the making of America and is this is all backwards isn't it is it oh well Anyway, it's Cornell University Library. So I hope that gives you a wonderful tip for today. Um, let me know if you find any really cool images. I know I could spend days, hours, and years on that website, I am sure. And um, another thing I'm working on for you guys that will probably take me a few weeks at least. Um, who knows, maybe I'll get super inspired. But I found, I think it's a New, a New York Public Library online the New York Public Library online and they have a lot of scanned vintage images and things like that and I've been collecting ones that have to do with school children and school and school uniforms from the late 1800s and the very early 1900s like 1908 1910 and I've just been collecting those and saving them and I don't know I might either make a, a digital printable file for you guys so you can print them out you know kind of have them collected they, they won't be all super decorated like some of you know Calico Collage, Tsunami Rose, some of their beautiful stuff. I'm I'm not that caliber, caliber, I can't talk. I was an English teacher. I should be ashamed of myself. Anyway, um, it won't be to that caliber, 
but you know it, it could be um, a few to several images on a page and then a few to several pages in the digital download kit. I also might um, print some of them out and either distress them, sew them, turn them into things, I'm not really sure, and have them available on my Etsy store. Um, for those of you who don't want to print out and deal with that, let me know if there's any interest in any of that, if that sounds like a direction I should continue with, and maybe even if anyone wants um, printed pages like this um, shipped to them. So let me know and um, let me know what you come up with and how you use these in your projects because y'all inspire me all the time. So have a wonderful day.